You may be familiar with a few graphical options in SOLIDWORKS such as shaded and wireframe modes. But did you know there was a secret graphical mode called RealView Graphics? In this video, I'm going to show you what RealView Graphics is and also the easiest way to enable it. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. RealView Graphics is a graphics mode in SOLIDWORKS that makes your models a little more polished and presentable. It turns on a few graphical settings like shadows and reflections and makes the materials look a little nicer. It also helps to have shadows in shaded mode and ambient occlusion and perspective on just to make it a little more presentable. It's not going to give you a key shot level quality, but it is a great way to get a quick presentable image of your model. But you may have noticed that the real view graphics option isn't enabled on your machine. I have no idea why SOLIDWORKS hides this option and it's been a bit of a pain to enable as you normally have to edit registry keys on your machine to get it to show. And even that isn't a guarantee that it will work. In fact, RealView Graphics was working fine for me for the longest time and then one day after updating my Nvidia drivers in probably early 2021, RealView Graphics was gone. I tried multiple things to get it back but in the end I just gave up and lived without it. That is until now. I think I have found the easiest way to get RealView graphics enabled once again. All we need to do in this solution is to create a text document, which we will save as a registry file and then open it, which will automatically write the correct registry keys for us. There are two registry files to create. I recommend trying the first one and if that doesn't work, try the second one. You can watch this video and manually create the text files yourself, but you can also download the files directly from the link in the description of this video. In my case, it was the second file that worked for me, but for clarity, my video card is the NVIDIA 3080, but this fix appears to work for many NVIDIA cards. Also, this fix does deal with editing registry files, which could potentially cause issues with your computer. So if you do attempt this fix, be advised, I am not responsible for any negative effects. Okay, enough talking. Let's get into the details of this fix. First, you'll need to open a text editor such as Notepad, and when you do this, make sure SOLIDWORKS is closed. For our first file, copy the information you see on screen into your notepad editor. Pause the video if it helps. Don't forget, you can also just download these two files from the link in the description of this video. Otherwise, continue on and do it manually yourself. Once you have all that, save the file somewhere on your machine and save it as fix1.reg for registry. Make sure you're saving as the .reg registry file extension. Otherwise, this won't work. You can now close the text editor and go to the location you saved the file. Here we can see I've already created the registry files for reg1 and reg2. Uh, in this case, just look, we're going to pay attention for the fix1. So the next step is the easy part. All we need to do is double click on the file. It's going to ask if you want the app to allow to make changes to your device. Just say yes. And then it's going to give another warning about registry changes just say yes to that. And then finally, that the keys and values have been added to your system and push OK. Now you can start SOLIDWORKS again. After it's loaded, you want to go up to the top here. You have like a image of a little computer screen. Click on the arrow and you should now see real view graphics. If we don't see real view graphics for the first fix, we can move on to the second file. So again, close SOLIDWORKS and open your notepad. This time you want to copy the information on screen now and pause the video if it helps. And once you've done that, save it as fix2.reg. Remember the extension .reg is important and close the notepad. And again, repeat the same steps. Double click on our fix2, say yes, say yes, and okay. And then start SOLIDWORKS. If the first fix didn't work, this second one should work for you. And we can see in my case, it was already enabled because of this fix was applied, but you should now see real view graphics. So you can turn that on. And just to make it a little bit nicer, turn on shadows in shadow mode, sorry, shadows in shaded mode and ambient occlusion and perspective. And that will just give it a nice finished look. In case neither fix worked, well, all I can say is sorry, and I hope you find a solution. If it did work, then give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more quick tips in SOLIDWORKS like this one.